Lil Durk and his clone Perkyo have been taking over the media lately. From talking on Instagram to even shooting an entire music video, I guess you can say that they became great friends. That was until Perkyo was seen on video meeting with one of Lil Durk's main ops, 6 9 This video sparked a lot of controversy because this guy's entire career relies on his relationship with Durk. Perkyo is a 20-year-old popular TikToker from Haiti that blew up for his insane resemblance to Lil Durk. Before he met Durk, he already had a massive following on social media and was even even seen collaborating with Lil Baby's clone. But once he got in touch with popular YouTuber King Sid, his life changed forever. Perkyo and King Sid met up and made a video where Perkyo dresses up and walks through the mall acting like dirt. Yeah, yeah, get a picture with him. Get a picture with him. Come on. Get a, get a picture. I got you. I'll take the picture of y'all. Come on, let me take the picture of y'all. Hey, I got y'all. Don't worry about it. In this video, Perk went as far as to getting fake hair, tattoos, and even matching outfits just to look like dirt. What look like little dirt? Yo. <laughs> Put your head down real quick. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, what the f and I can say he did a pretty good job because at first I couldn't even tell. This video eventually made it to the real Dirk's attention and he reached out to the young fans. Their first interaction was when Dirk posted a video of Perkyo and his girlfriend that he even calls his India on Instagram, captioning it, OMG, what happened to Smirk? This post really took off and greatly boosted Perkyo's fame. After seeing how much the fans loved the two, Dirk wanted to take it further. Dirk got together with his well-known cameraman, Jerry PhD, and let Perkyo act as him in his block Blacklist music video. The resemblance is wild, and Dirk even knows it because before the full Blacklist video dropped, they went live together, and Dirk said multiple times how it looks like he's talking to a mirror. Man, it's like I'm talking to the mirror, bro. What's that? It's like I'm talking to the mirror. Dirk even let Perkyo perform Blocklist as him at one of his tour dates in Miami. Once Dirk noticed the crowd wasn't really messing with Perkyo, he called him out and asked the crowd to show him some love. Perkyo has seriously benefited from this entire clone stuff, but it has also brought him a lot of drama. Perkyo was allegedly supposed to meet with another popular YouTuber, Steve Will Do It, for a collaboration video, but when he showed up, 6 9 was also there. When Perkyo approached the rainbow hair rapper, he was greeted with a jacket with a picture of King Von on the back of it. During this entire situation, Perkyo looked extremely uncomfortable and showed many signs that he didn't want the jacket. He even tried taking it off, but 6 9 told him to keep it on. Everyone was calling Perkyo a traitor and saying that he sold out for clout, and this really had Perkyo scared that he messed up his relationship with Dirk, so he quickly went live to defend himself and explain how it really went down. Perkyo completely put the blame on Steve, saying that he knew 6 9 was going to be there, but he never mentioned anything about him when they agreed to meet up, so it was almost like Steve set him up to be embarrassed. It was never supposed to happen, like never. I was literally supposed to collab with um with Steve. Steve will do it. Like I literally wanted to collab with Steve will do it because he hit me up first. Like only Steve will do it. But Steve made his own response video explaining that Perkyo knew about Six Nine the entire time and even agreed to meet him. All right. Dear Perkyo, you just posted a video saying that I DM'd you, I messaged you, and I set you up. First off, if you have the DMs of me messaging you, I'll give you a million dollars because that's cap. Second, you said you came and you had no idea 6ix9ine was even there. 6 9 and Dirk have a pretty foul past, from diss tracks to Instagram comments. The two have never gotten along. It all started when King Von died, and 6 9 continuously taunted Dirk over and over on Instagram, telling him to slide for his man. After Dirk and his girlfriend got into a shootout in their home, 6 9 dissed him again, saying, y'all thought this man was a gangster. They sliding on this man every other week. Damn, give him a break. He also went on to add, someone said Lil Dirk is not gonna slide until they kill his girlfriend. Then 6 9 took it even further, dissing Dirk and Vaughn on Academics Off The Record podcast saying that he wants to set up a boxing match to fight Lil Dirk. You call Dirk and get him in the same room as me? Make it happen. You got the phone right there. After many failed attempts to get Dirk's attention, 6 9 went silent for a while, making everyone think that the social media beef was coming to an end. That was until 6 9 decided to strike it back up in his song, G9, where he says, your man got shot. You made a diss track. Go get your gun and get some get back. He even calls Dirk out on his name, saying how he knew he wouldn't ride for his homie. 6 9 claims he goes so hard with dissing Dirk because in King Von's post-humans album, he dissed 6 9 saying, if I get caught, I 
do the time, I'm not 6ix9ine. So the two never really saw eye to eye. But 6ix9ine didn't have to get this kid involved. It's even rumored that this beef is completely fake and 6ix9ine and Dirk have never seen each other in person. Which makes sense because 6ix9ine is just an internet troll. I don't really expect him to be out in the streets. But since Perkyo has a Haitian background, the Zoes were behind him the entire time. One Zo even released a video threatening Steve and 6ix9ine for what they did. They ain't say nothing about no 6ix9ine. When he got there, 6ix9ine wanna pop up and do all this. Listen, man, I don't want the pressure with 6ix9ine. That Steve or whoever you is, you getting all the pressure. All of it is on you. A day after the video was released, 6ix9ine was also punched in the face by a guy at one of his shows. The guy that punched him later did an interview explaining that it was the right thing to do and he hopes it humbles him. He also says he's just tired of 6ix9ine bullying people and handing out money, making it seem like he's a good guy. Hopefully that humbled him a little bit. Cause now he's out trying to pass out, he's out passing out money and all that, trying to, you know, make everybody in the streets and so on like have like sympathy in his heart and all that. No, you're not that type of person, man. You're doing this for a look. But the Zoes weren't the only people that came to Perkyo's defense. Popular Detroit artist 42 Doug also had something to say about it. I hate when a chest do host to good people. Rat ass involving white boys in street sh be lames and hoes. He could have pulled up on so many other dudes, but they'll pull up on a kid that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Doug said in an Instagram post, that is pretty whack how they didn't pull up on the real Dirk with all of this energy. But once 6ix9ine saw 42 Doug's response, he challenged him to a fight. 42 Doug quickly declined this offer and said, I'm playing, man. I ain't got nothing against the FBI or anyone that helped them. I don't condone violence. It looks like 42 Doug is trying to stay far away from 6ix9ine as possible. But can you really blame him? I mean, who wants to be trolled? Then when you retaliate, you get told on. Even academics, one of 6 ix closest friends, called him out for what he did. If you want to go kill Dirk, nigga, go kill Dirk. Don't put nobody else in your fucking me. Get out of here. It's not cool. Don't put Steve will do it in it. Don't put academics in it. Don't put nobody in your, your Bro, like. After receiving loads of backlash alongside 6ix9ine, Steve Will Do It took it upon himself to apologize to Perkyo and giving him stacks of money, cryptocurrency, and a Cartier bracelet for putting him in such an uncomfortable situation. Drake's clone, who also goes by Izzy Drake, also came to Perkyo's defense. The fake Drake sent some screenshots of messages between him and some guy named Mike to Complex, showing them how they got the meeting set up. In the messages, you can see how Mike mentions nothing about 6ix9ine, he only mentions how Steve wanted to meet up with him. After the video was made, Izzy Drake told Mike that what he did wasn't cool. That's when Mike started to play dumb, like he was unaware 6ix9ine was going to be there either. Mike also says Perkyo got $5,000 and free clout, so he shouldn't be mad about what happened but i feel like regardless of what y'all pay him y'all ruined his career and relationship with one of his favorite artists everyone wasn't feeling bad for perkyo though lil reese spoke on the situation pressing the young fan saying tell dude change his name and dye his hair pink that's why you can't show no love reese also has a foul pass with 6ix9ine and even wants to box him but 6ix9ine is probably the most hated artist in america so he's definitely not the first dirk was pretty silent throughout this entire feud that was until he went to twitter to sell celebrate how this entire situation made him go number one on the charts again. He didn't seem to be phased by the situation at all, but Perkyo on the other hand is just worried about whether Dirk would still look at him the same. And before you go, make sure to check out this video too.